This is a demonstration of how to track and update your month-end close tasks in Blackline. For a lot of companies, this usually requires updating a spreadsheet, having lots of status meetings, or emailing with your accounting team throughout close. Blackline can actually save you a ton of time by managing this process. Let's take a look at a real-world example. Here I am logged into the system as Kim Wilson, an accountant. And the first thing I see is a dashboard showing me how many tasks I'm responsible for by status. It gives me a quick overview of how many tasks I've completed and how many are still left to do. Now, if I look in the upper right of the dashboard over here, it shows that I've completed two tasks. If I look in the upper left over here, it tells me that I have 13 tasks remaining to be completed. Now, let's say I wanted to see a list of all 13 tasks. I click on the number 13 and the bottom win window appears showing me all the month end tasks that haven't been completed yet. So in my list, I see a task to calculate and book the bad debt reserve. I'll see another task here to book my commissions payable accrual. And I'll see another one over here for gathering property tax assessments and invoices. Now let's take a deeper look at that one and how we should complete it. So the first thing to note here is the detailed instructions section. So this was actually typed in when I first created the task and it provides me step-by-step -step instructions on what needs to be done. In this case, it's telling me I have to gather up all my monthly property tax invoices, my property tax payments, and any other relevant documents around property taxes. Now there's two big benefits here. The first is, is that these detailed instructions help me complete the task properly. And the second is, if I can't do this task because maybe I'm out on PTO, or maybe even I left the company, a new user picking up this workload knows exactly what to do. So now that I know what exactly needs to be done and I'm ready to do it, I'll go out, I'll gather all the property tax invoices, payments and supporting documents. I'll probably pull them from the city's website and my ERP system. And now that I have all my supporting documents, I'm gonna attach them directly to the task itself. And I'm gonna do that because retrieving them directly from this task is so much easier than hunt, hunting them down on a file share. So I'll just come down here to the supporting documents section and attach the property tax invoice. And there it is attached directly to my task. Now, now that I've completed this task, I scroll down to the bottom here. And I'm going to click the certify button. And that tells the system that I've actually completed this task. So to complete the cycle, let's go back to my dashboard and see how it updated. You'll notice that the number of my uncompleted tasks changed from 13 to 12. So one last thing I'd like to show. The system has a ton of reports for users and managers to use. So here's an example of a report a controller can use to see the statuses of all tasks across the entire accounting department. So this top section up here, this gives me a nice graph showing total tasks by status. So I hover over the bars to get the specific numbers. So this bar here, it's telling me that 54 tasks have not been started yet. If I hover over this bar over here, it's telling me that 157 tasks have been completed. Now on the bottom here, this is giving me a detailed list of each task and its status. So I can see things like the task description, the due date of the task, and who's responsible for completing the task. I could sort this list by any field. So for example here, if I click on task due date, it sorts it by the actual date. And I could filter this list. So say I wanted to see all the tasks for just a specific user. In this case, we'll say just for Tom Green. Just type in, type in his name, and now the list is filtered. I could even export this list to Excel if I want and manipulate it there. But the main point here is that it gives the controller instant visibility into which tasks are completed and which they'll need to be done for the entire accounting team. 
And that's how simple it is to track month end tasks in Blackline. It provides a one stop shop for tracking your tasks and provides instant visibility into which have been completed and which still need to be done. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please contact us at info at rebelwood.com.